The time has come to get back out and about for another pedal box road trip. This time, we're going to Retro Rides Gathering at Shelsley Walsh. So it's been two years since we were here at Shelsley Walsh and we've just started the runs for today. Uh, some of the special cars are going up. We've got more starting behind us, as you can see. Yeah, got a little bit of hill climb going on. I've actually got the Rover parked up in retro parking up on the hill, all the way up at the top, which is quite a cool area to be. Unfortunately, yeah. not really going to get to hang out with it very much today. But <laughs> yeah, we finally managed to get one of our cars to an event that we're at, which is just mind blowing. It's taken yeah. us nearly four years of having this channel to achieve that after setting one on fire, decommissioning it, and decommissioning are, yours, yeah, and, and we're not even are, running. Even sending it up the hill. Yeah. It's just <laughs> we're literally not even running it. We're just here to do some filming and hopefully see some cool stuff go up the hill. Man, I was really hoping that he was about to do yeah. that there. Yay! This is part one of our 2021 trip to Retro Rides Gathering at Shelsley Walsh Hill Climb. And there's lots more video to come, so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell to get notified as soon as new videos are released. As always for the gathering, the cars were really, really varied and eclectic, even just in the paddock by the start line where Hill Climb Monsters had lined up all of their featured cars for the hill. Lining up here, we've got some proper rally legends with a Metro 6R4 and a Mark II Escort, although this one seems to be in a pretty serious time attack, guys, rather than a rally car. And just after that, there's a Ford Anglia and a deafeningly loud Subaru Legacy.
Just in the morning session, there was this Volvo 340 and what our kit car chassis probably could have looked like once upon a time, in this case powered with a Yamaha. There was also this Mark II Sirocco and a Sierra four-door saloon. This Frog Eye Sprite is fairly famous, powered with a 4G SE motor and once owned by Pipey McGraw, it's now owned by Wheelie Nuts, who last time we were here had that really impressive black Supra that just kept coming out of the fog every time it went to the line. And that wasn't all. The queue itself was a great place to just sit and car watch, all of the attendees lining up, chatting and getting ready to attack the hill in what they'd brought along. And it wasn't just stuff to make a really fast run up the hill either. There was also a couple of big American boats, so the Thunderbird would probably be really at home here next to this Chrysler 300. And just sat to the side here, there's a little Tykes car, powered by a lawnmower and with a set of drag slicks on the rear and pram wheels on the front. Apparently it's been up the hill and it was tooling around in the campsite. Why not? Uh, 
We and I'm sure everybody that went to the event wants to make a heartfelt thanks to all of the marshals and everybody else who made this event possible. If you're interested, you can check out marshalling and do a taster day near you. Just go to the link in our description at the bottom or go to marshalls.co.uk and have a look there. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell to get all the notifications when we put up new videos. Have a look at shop.pedalbox.show for merch and more. And have a look at patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show if you'd like to support us, our channel and the builds from as little as a dollar a month. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.